Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In this video, I am going to discuss problems on continuous time signals using basic operations. These questions are from previous semester papers. This video explains step-by-step -step procedure on how to sketch any given signal. The first problem I am going to explain here is a continuous time signal x of t is shown. Sketch and label the following signals x of t minus 2, x of 2t, x of t by 2 and x of minus t. So this is the given signal x of t. So it is a step signal extended from 0 to 4 and with the amplitude of 1. Right. So x of t here x of t has the range t between 0 to 4 right now the first signal that i am going to sketch here is x of t minus 2 right so x of t minus 2 so this is time shifting right this is the property time shifting x of t minus b so as this is a negative number minus 2 you have to move the signal towards the right side or else here i am going to explain the concept write it here as you are drawing for x of t t is scale is ranging from 0 to 4 now the same t minus 2 x of t minus 2 has to extend from again 0 to 4 so to balance the inequality here add plus 2 on every side of the equation such that it will become 2 less than t less than 6 so if you are sketching for x of t minus 2 on the time scale t, then the t range will be between 2 to 6, right? So, this is your time scale t and you are drawing for x of t minus 2. The amplitude will not change. Amplitude is 1 only. The signal x of t minus 2 has the range from 2 to 6 now. Or else you can understand the signal here x of t is starting from 0 here. It is shifted 2 units towards your right side on the time axis. That is nothing but your x of t minus 2. Second signal that we have to sketch here is x of 2t. So, x of t has the range t from 0 to 4. They are asking you to draw x of 2t. This is time scaling x of a t, right? So, if a is greater than 1 in x of a t, if a is greater than 1, then the signal will shrink. If a is less than 1, then the signal will expand or otherwise. Here, I am going to explain the concept here. 0 less than t less than 4 when you are drawing for x of t. Now, I am drawing for 2t in the same range 0 to 4. Now, you reduce the scale to t. So, for that you just divide this with 2 on both the sides of the equation such that the equation will be inequality will be balanced. So, 0 by 2 is 0, 4 by 2 is 2. So, the new limits are from 0 to 2 for the signal x of 2t. So, see, this is your x of 2t. This is how we can draw the signal. The step has to extend from 0 to 2 on your time scale. And this is your x of 2t. But here the amplitude is 1 only. There is no change in amplitude. We are applying the operations on your t scale. Not on x. Right. So this is the signal that is extended from 0 to 2. So these are the new limits for time scale for x of 2t signal. And the next signal to sketch here is x of t by 2. So again take x of t which has the limits t limits are 0 to 4 here from the given picture right so to draw x of t by 2 on the same time scale you write it for t by 2 you have to draw it on the time scale 0 to 4 as you are considering the scale as t only not t by 2 you are considering the scale t only so take the limits for t now so for that you just multiply it with 2 on everywhere on the inequality. So, 0 into 2 is 2, t by 2 into 2 is t, t and then 4 into 2 is 8. So, now the new limits for x of t by 2 are 
0 to 8 and the amplitude will not change. So, this is amplitude 1. The signal is ex expanded from T is equal to T 0 to T is equal to 8 here. And the last signal you have to sketch is X of minus T. You are given with X of T and you need to draw for X of minus T. See, this is how we can draw. This is time scale T and this is X of T you are drawing. So, this is plus and plus this is minus minus right so x axis this is positive x axis and negative x axis positive y axis and negative y axis so on y axis i'm taking x of t and on x axis i'm taking t now first quadrant will give me x of t what about your second quadrant now this t is minus t so this is x of minus t Coming to the third quadrant here, this axis is minus x of t. So, this will be minus x of minus t and this the fourth quadrant minus x of t and t. So, this is minus x of t. So, they are asking you to draw x of minus t when x of t is given, right? So, this is nothing but just the mirror reflection of your given x of t signal along y axis. So, as the time scale t is extended from 0 to 4 for x of t. Now, you have to draw the signal for x of minus t. Now, I will select the range for minus t. Check it out. Minus t also has to extend in the range 0 to 4. But the time scale that I am taking here is only t, not minus t. So, t will has the range now 0 to minus 4. See? The signal is extended from 0 to minus 4 with an amplitude of 1. So, this is how to draw x of minus t. The second question I am going to explain here is sketch x of t is equal to minus u of t plus 3 plus 2 into u of t plus 1 minus 2 into u of t minus 1 plus u into t of minus 3. So, again this is also of unit step signal. So, you know unit step signal is defined as u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. Now, let us define what they have given. So, you are given with the first term here is u of t plus 3. So, u of t plus 3 is equal to 1 when t plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Implies what? t is greater than or equal to minus 3. So, let us draw the first signal here. See, the, I, uh, I prefer everyone to draw one under the other. Each term of the given signal, try to draw one under the other so that addition or multiplication or subtraction of signals is very easy here. So, the first signal which I have drawn here with purple color. So, here this is of u of t plus 3, right? So, u of t plus 3 is of magnitude 1 when t greater than or equal to minus 3. But you are given with minus u of t minus t plus 3. So, minus u of t plus 3 means amplitude is minus 1. This is just the reverse version, right? So, this is u of t means this will be minus u of t, right? So, that is equal to minus 1 for t greater than or equal to minus 3. Minus 3 to plus infinity, right? So, I have drawn the signal here of amplitude minus 1 from minus 3 to infinity the signal is going right so this is u of t plus 3 part next 2 into u of t plus 1 so u of t plus 1 is equal to 1 for t plus 1 greater than or equal to 0 implies t greater than or equal to minus 1 but you are given with amplitude 2 so multiply the signal amplitude scaling here so so, amplitude 2 and the signal has to extend from minus 1 to infinity. So, see here the second signal I have marked in green color 2 into u of t plus 1. On the same x axis, the x axis should be the parallel one so that you can add up the signals easily. So, second signal done. Then the third term is u of t minus 1, right? So, u of t minus 1 is equal to 1 when t minus 1 is greater than 0 or t greater than 1. So, the signal has to start from t is equal to 1. But the signal here given is multiplied with minus 2. Amplitude is minus 2. So, 
Amplitude scaling. Amplitude is now minus 2. And the signal starts from t is equal to 1. See, here t started at t is equal to 1 uh, with an amplitude of minus 2 going extending till infinity. Right? And the last signal given is u of t minus 3. u of t minus 3 is equal to 1 for t minus 3 greater than 0 or t is greater than 3. So, t greater than 3, it is going with an amplitude of 1. Now, now we have to add up all these 4 signals to make our signal x of t. So, for that, try to write down it in a tabular form. So, at t is equal to 0, what is the amplitude of u of t plus 3? It is minus 3, right? So, that is minus 1. At t is equal to minus 3, the signal started from t is equal to minus 3. At t is equal to minus 3, the amplitude of the first signal is minus 1. Plus, amplitude of second signal is 0. Amplitude of third signal is also equal to 0 here. And the fourth signal is also having amplitude 0. So, you just add up everything. So, the final answer is minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is minus 1. So, for x of t, the amplitude at t is equal to minus 3 is minus 1. So, mark the point. Next. At t is equal to minus 2, add up all the amplitudes. So, I have minus 1 here, 0, 0, 0. So, again minus 1. So, mark minus 1 again. Then, at t is equal to minus 1, again add up the amplitudes of each and every individual term here. Minus 1 plus this here, for the second signal I have 2. And then, for the third signal 0, fourth signal is also 0. Right? So, 2 minus 1 is minus, uh, 2 minus 1 is plus 1. So, at amplitude of, at plus, u is, t is equal to minus 1, I have an amplitude of plus 1 here. Then, at t is equal to 0, add up the signals here. The amplitude is minus 1. For the second signal, at t is equal to 0, amplitude is 2. And for the third signal, 0. And for fourth signal is also equal to 0. So, this is again 1. Mark. Then, at t is equal to 1. So, this is minus 1 plus 2 plus at t is equal to 1, you have minus 2, right? So, minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 and then 0. So, this goes to minus 1, right? So, at t is equal to 1, I have an amplitude of minus 1 here, right? Then, at t is equal to 2. Similarly, Write down minus 1, mi minus 1, plus 2, plus minus 2, plus 0. So, again it is minus 1. So, mark at t is equal to 2 also. Amplitude is minus 1. Again, at t is equal to 3. So, what is the amplitude here? You have here minus 1, plus 2, right? Minus 2. And here I have plus 1. So, mark this one. So, amplitude is 0, right? So, now join all the points to make a step, right? So, step signal. So, this is the final signal that we are getting here after adding up all these signals. That signal is extended from minus 3 to 3. See, if you check after that, that means at t is equal to 4, again you will get 0. This is amplitude of minus 1 at t is equal to 4. Amplitude is minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 1. So, everything will get cancelled. So, here onwards everything you will be getting 0 only. So, the signal is looking like this after adding up all these unit step signals. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Thank you.